You might find it strange to see me now make a serious video about atheism plus when I've made two videos in which I'm showing that I'm not at all interested and I think that the whole hullabaloo around this whole thing is a bit ridiculous. So why am I making a serious video now? Well, when you look at those two videos you might jump to certain conclusions that's one thing and also people have approached me and asked me what do you think about this whole atheism plus thing so you're kind of my hand is being forced a little bit into being a little bit more serious about this because I don't want people to come away thinking that I'm like opposed to atheism plus or that I think atheism plus is ridiculous no, what I think is ridiculous is the hullabaloo that has arisen around it. The whole kerfuffle, the people, you know, fighting about this thing. But that leads me then to kind of consider, well, why am I not interested in this kerfuffle? And why am I not, when, why am I not interested in atheism plus? And why are people fighting like this? What is going on here? And I think at the root of this, at the basis of all this, might be just a simple but profound difference in how people approach the fact that they call themselves atheists and what this means to them personally. And what a lot of people don't understand or what a lot of people can't bring themselves to is accepting that to another person being an atheist means something different than it means to you and I'm not talking here about the definition of the word atheist and the whole atheists are babies or babies are atheists or whatever nonsense I'm not talking I'm talking about what it means to you as a person to be an atheist and to some people this means being part of a group, being part of a thing that's bigger than themselves, that transcends them and that has certain ideals and um, goals and so on and so forth. And then you get organizations or clubs or whatever you want to call them, such as the Brights and the Pearlists and Atheism Plus and so on and so forth. And people identify with that group as an atheist and they identify with whatever the larger ideology might be that surrounds the, the ethos of such a group. But to other people, and I've come to realize that I, I see myself in that light, atheism just means, listen, people are talking about gods and supernatural things and pff, I'm not buying any of it. I'm simply not buying it. That's what atheism means to me. And the thing is, it means nothing more to me. That is all it means. Does that mean that I'm not interested in social issues? Of course not. I am interested in those. And especially, of course, in social issues that reflect back on, well, atheists. Because I'm part of that group. And we face things such as discrimination sometimes and... Um, bigotry and, and other issues and when that happens, when I become aware of something like that happening I have spoken out about that in the past and I am one of these people who will stand up and say I am an atheist and I'm not going to tolerate being treated like dirt simply because I don't buy into your nonsense and so on. So I will get exercised about that. I will get interested in such issues and I will do my little bit to address them but I don't see that as a part of a bigger ideological complex that my atheism is inextricably linked to I see my atheism as a separate thing it's just one of those things about me I don't buy into gods that's it so from that perspective I'm not interested in joining any ideologically motivated groups or clubs or organizations or whatever else you want to call them that are based on atheism because no that's not the way I function but 
that doesn't mean that I consider those things to be wrong at all. I can see that other people would be interested in such things and they do feel more empowered when they are part of such groups, when they can present themselves as part of a larger thing and speak in that sort of context. And if that's what makes you more comfortable as an atheist, then that's something that you need to do. It simply isn't something that I need to do. And that should be fine from both perspectives. And that is why I think the whole fight, the whole bickering, the whole arguments about this are so ridiculous. Because these are people arguing about personal choices and trying to invalidate the personal choices of other human beings. And that is preposterous no matter how you look at it and whether it's about atheism or any other subject. Thank you.